When incorporating evidence into a research project in Google Slides, you still must cite your sources. The format of Google Slides, however, is different from that of Google Docs, so you will need to be selective with how you incorporate your evidence. You may want to embed evidence into a line of text in your presentation. To do so, you would follow the same formatting as you would if you were writing evidence in a Google Doc. Whether weaving or framing the evidence, a citation comes at the end of a sentence. When creating slides, though, you want sparse lines of text. For that reason, another option to cite your sources is to include a footnote next to your text. This can work especially well with citations for information presented in a table or a chart. Creating a footnote in Google Slides, however, is a bit different from creating a footnote in Google Docs. Unfortunately, there is no insert footnote function in Google Slides, so we are left to format the footnotes ourselves. After writing out the text that you want the footnote to follow, do not hit space. Instead, press Control or Command plus period. Doing so will format the text that you type as postscript. Postscript means that the text will continue in smaller font slightly above the normal text, almost like an exponent. You then type the number that corresponds to the cited evidence. Once you have typed the number, press Control or Command plus period, again to return to the normal text formatting. The first step in formatting your footnote is now complete. The next step is to provide the corresponding information connected to that footnote at the bottom of the page. To do so, I will create a new text box and format it so that it is aligned to the bottom of the slide. I changed the normal text to postscript again by pressing Control or Command plus period, then type the number that corresponds to the footnote. I then revert back to normal text and write out the source of the cited information. Note that this is not a full citation. It is simply the source from which the information is cited. The full citation comes at the end of your presentation, which we will review next. Because Google Slides functionality is a bit different from Google Docs, it is left to us to format the work cited correctly. I do so by creating a new text box and dragging it to the entire size of the slide. This ensures that the title is centered true to the slide itself and not just the text box. Then I change the normal text to Times New Roman, size 12. I change the alignment by pressing Control plus Shift plus E, which automatically centers my writing. Then I write out Works Cited just as I would in Google Docs. I then change the spacing to double space. After typing Works Cited, I press Enter, followed by Control plus Shift plus L, which automatically aligns my writing to the left. Now I am ready to include my citations. There are many variables that factor into a citation for a research paper or presentation, including the number of authors, the journal the article was published, the database the article was published, and whether the journal was accessed digitally or in print, among others. For that reason, I am not going to review the different formatting requirements for each. Instead, I recommend that you use Nightsight, a citation generator through Calvin University. You simply select your citation style, resource type, and input the necessary and relevant information, then press Submit. From there, you copy your completed citation and paste it in your document. Hopefully this was helpful and informative. If you have any questions or suggestions, please share them in the space below. And for information about embedding and citing sources in the body of an essay in Google Docs, please refer to my video, Embedding and Citing Evidence. Thank you and happy writing.